What's going on, y'all? Thanks for staying up with us. This week's Athlete of the Week goes to LaGrange track star Austin Dix. Now, he's involved in National Honor Society and does a lot of work in the community with Habitat for Humanity. But last year, Austin wasn't able to run because of a stress fracture. But fast forward to a week ago, he went up to Virginia Beach and won both the 60 and 200 meter dash at Adidas Indoor Nationals. The more impressive part is both those races were within an hour of each other. And it's a fair start and a good one for Diggs on the outside. It was it was interesting to hear the like the play by play. Diggs, he's got to come out and he, he got it. Cause my main problem before was just my start. I wasn't getting out like I needed to. In the semis, when he got second, <clears throat> he wasn't real happy with it. So there you go under the stands and they have a, a little practice track to warm up on it. And we knew come the finals, if he got the start, he was gonna hold it. He ran a good prelim and I think it was semis didn't run so well. Yeah. And I told him, I said, and my direct text to him was, just, I'm putting my money on you still. I knew nobody was gonna expect me to win it. And, I, and it, it was just a great feeling knowing that, like, especially since I went and corrected my mistakes and seeing that it came out to work, it was just a great feeling. So when he texted me his national times, I really wasn't surprised, to be quite honest. And then, heck, was it less than an hour later? Yeah. They were saying it's about an hour in between races. It wasn't quite that long. No one, no one thought you could win the 60. So you backdoor less than an hour later, win the 200 as well. Did you feel like like that guy? <laughs> yeah, I, I, it, it was it was a real good confidence booster. You know, of course, I always try to stay humble because that's a big part of it. You know, I, w I want people to want me to win. Mm -hmm. It was pretty surreal. We we kind of yeah. they heard us in the stands, and they flew all the way out there with me. And I was like, I don't want them to come all the way out here and spend all this money, and then you know me not be able to perform like I know I can. He's always been the fast kid, even t-ball and just hit the ball or run around the bases, don't stop kind of thing. You never know how that's going to develop when they get older, and if they're going to speed up or slow down, and he keeps speeding up. With all that said, you are our Advocates Athlete of the Week, Austin, so congratulations. Thank you. No problem. It means a lot. You know we're always looking for that next Advocates Athlete of the Week. So if you know someone that's not only good in their sport, but more importantly, great in the classroom and involved in after-school activities, send us an email to sports at kpu.com.